Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Mirror Layers. This was a game created within 48 hours for the 2016 Asylum Jam, which I've talked about before. It's a game jam centered around creating games without any mental health stigmas, no hospitals, no asylums, as the name suggests, etc. I've played one other game from the Asylum Jam this year, and I think I actually played this one while I was looking around for games to play. I didn't get very far in and I didn't really think it was that special, but a lot of people have told me within the past couple days to play it. I think because they saw someone else play it. So uh, I guess I'll check it out again. It was created by Revo Lab, the same developer behind Seven Days, if you remember that pixelated horror game from years back. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play again, I guess. All right. Yeah, I think I did play this one. I didn't get very far in. I can't remember much about it, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Well, there's a little bit of lag there. Hello. Mirror OS. I don't think I did this. Command list. Help. Dur. Okay. Help. The game minimized. And it opened up a Facebook group. That's weird. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, obviously I can't show you this entire window because it's my personal Facebook, but uh, apparently there's people here that need keys. I got key four, but I need key one. Can anybody tell me all the commands of the computers? I'm stuck on the tapes. Hmm, I do not remember running into anything like this. That's interesting. So what does Dur do? Okay, that, um, wow, this is gonna be tough to record. All right, so it made a folder in my documents folder called statue input and uh, statue output. Interesting. All right, yeah, this is gonna be kind of tough to manage, guys. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be flipping back and forth through a bunch of different windows, I guess. Okay, cool. Escape, that's an invalid command. Okay, you just press escape and it goes away. I don't think I ever checked that computer when I played before. Hmm, okay. So apparently there's like a social component to the game, judging by that Facebook group. Uh, a connection between this world and the one you are living in. I remember seeing this statue, because it it's topless. <laughs> Not to be sophomoric or anything, but uh, giggle giggle. So, uh, let's, let's keep exploring, I guess. There's a bunch of different rooms here. Most of which we haven't been in. Where does this one go? Nowhere? There's a mirror here! I think. There was something in that folder about a statue. Oh, statue input and output. So I guess maybe if I deposit items inside the statue, It'll spawn a file in that folder. That's kind of interesting, actually. Oh. Oh. You have to press E on the mirror. Okay. <laughs> Hello. This kind of reminds me of a little bit of Silent Hill. So, it's a flip of the regular world. I see. Key three. Sounds like SCP-173 is in here. Where's that- where's that noise coming from? Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try... See if I can bring this to that statue and see if my- my theory is correct. Okay, a connection between this world and the one you're living in. Okay, so... It says, oh, you can't see it. Ah, it says transferred to your world in the bottom right. Hang on one second. Okay, I moved my face cam to the other side so we can see that in the future. Statue input. Statue output. Suffer dot mirror. Okay, so it did create a new file. That's actually really interesting. I can't, uh, I can't open it with anything. It says it's a mirror file. I don't think that that's a real thing. Uh, cool. Well, let's go ahead and jump back in. So I have 
key three. This must have been what people were talking about in the Facebook group of like, oh, I have, I have key one, oh, I have key four, I have key two, etc. Let's go jump back in, see, see what we can find. It's weird because I guess some games just have different keys. Can I get on the computer here? This place does not have internet. That's, that's too bad. No Wi-Fi connection in the mirror world. Hmm. Suffer.mirror. That's an edgy title. What is that sound? I'm trying to figure out where that's coming from. But then again, maybe... Maybe I don't want to know. Hi. Hello there. Whose shoes are these? I keep seeing them everywhere. Are those shoes? Maybe they're not. Maybe there's something else. Okay. Like... Oh, hello! Hi. Are you after me? I guess if I had never... walked over there, maybe... maybe he wouldn't have activated. He had like a bucket on his head? What a Neanderthal. Let's go back in. Maybe he's gone now. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Cool, cool. Maybe I can explore in peace now? Hoping that I can. I didn't go this way. Okay, this is a... dungy little... bathroom. What's weird is that there's no statue hallway in this version. That I can find. Wait, maybe it, it might be this way? Okay, there we go. What's this? It's like a locked box. Two! So I need key two for this. So I have three and I need two. Well then what's, what's key three for, you know? Okay, so I need key two, so... Am I correct in assuming that in order to get this, I've gotta go on the Facebook group and find someone that has key two? All right, so apparently there's a files tab, and if I go there, I can find everything. Okay, there's a... There's a lot of different ver <laughs> versions of this. Holy crap, okay, so I've got... Well, I might as well just go get all, all the keys, right? So I, I need to get... Pain mirror, loneliness mirror, and Torment Mirror, and I guess those are the three ones I'm missing. Well, there's also Sadness Mirror, Abandonment Mirror, what the heck? Okay, so I got Loneliness.Mirror, which I think is key two. I'm gonna put it in Statue Input, and we'll see what happens when I open the game back up. Okay, here, uh, here goes. Resume. Okay. I don't know. Do I have to go back to the statue? Does it spit it out? Whoa! <laughs> okay. Do I still have the keys? I didn't realize that he was right there, little turd. All right. Maybe the statue is still... Oh, yes, it totally did. Look! Key 2, that's exactly what we need. Huh. And if I want to get rid of it, I just put it out there. So basically, you get a key in your game that you can use to swap with someone who has a, a key in their game that you need. Interesting. Okay, let's try this again. Of course, since I reset, I might not need this key anymore. We'll have to find out. I can't remember where it is. Here it is. Alright, what's inside? What? A leg? A foot? What? Why do I have this? Alright. Oh, cool! You got a leg now. Be happy, you can walk again. I'm back in my room. Okay. So, uh... So now what? 
Do I have to look for another key or? Oh, oops. Okay. All the doors are closed. This is new. What is this? Dad. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Classic Radio. Here for the No Clock broadcast. What? Okay. So this says dad. This formed an E? I don't know, I guess there's like a code or something? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Maybe, hang on, this is where I found the box earlier. And the box is gone. Instead, there's just some books and a, a vase. I don't see anything else. The tape says dad on it. I wonder if that's a clue of some kind. Oh, hi! Yeah, you just popped up, didn't you? This is new. This has like a, a code on it. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, so... Hmm. So there was an E that I just saw there. Maybe I deposit this near the uh, uh, statue, and I and I get something for it. Whoa! Transferred to your world, okay? Okay, <laughs> hang on, guys. All right. So if I look in statue output, I've got agony dot mirror. Okay, and I got the letter E from that. But I didn't get a number? Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna uh, copy and paste it into input. And see, see if that does anything. Um, boop. Did I get, did I get my tape back? I sure did, so I can listen to it again if I want to. So basically what I've gotta do is I've gotta get more tapes. And I don't know how many tapes I need. But I guess I'll find out and I'll just have them plop here. So I'm gonna look on the Facebook group real quick. Alright, so going to statue input, I'm gonna go ahead and paste the other three keys. There's abandonment.mirror, cassetta4.mirror, and lost.mirror. Okay, let's go ahead and see what that looks like, I guess. Alright, we did get more tapes. I don't know if we got three more tapes or not. Let me just... I gotta find a place to like put all these. Uh... Can I put it on the table? Thank you. Because we're going to have to go back and forth to the mirror world to get all the coordinates, I guess. Okay. Uh, ba 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 ba. So we got father. Fucker. And daddy. Okay. So we got dad, daddy, father, fucker. Good. So that's, that's four tapes, so just like the keys, there's four of them, I assume. I, I couldn't find any more on the Facebook group. If there are more tapes, then I'm not aware of them. Those are the, all, all the ones I could find. This is an interesting game so far. I'm not sure how scary it is, but I definitely like the uh, I'm scared style um, connection between your actual physical computer and the game. All right, so I'm gonna take daddy in there first. This is kind of a, this is weird. I don't know why I have to say it like that. Let's go ahead and boop. Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Radio. I'm here and we're at the in a 45 minutes broadcast. 45. 45C. 45? I don't know if that's, hang on. Is that even a, is he around? Um, it only goes one through eight. So C45 is not an option. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Okay, well, uh, cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to put these in order as best I can. So we got C45, we'll do father next, and we'll do fucker last. Okay, so we got C45, what, what else we got? Twelve, so we got F twelve, and that's also not something that appears. 
Get out of my fucking way. He, he's coming to the left. I don't like it. F12. Alright, so C45, F12, and then... We got E something. I didn't hear that one. Of course, neither... Neither of those are on the grid. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Classic Radio. And here for the 33 minutes live broadcast. 33. So we got H33 as well. Yeah, these are all too large for the grid, so I must be missing something. But this is all the information we're getting. Here for the no clock broadcast. For the what? Does it say, did he say seven? Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Radio. Here for the no clock broadcast. I, it just says o'clock. Blank o'clock. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. No, I... Wait, I think I understand. Okay, so... So we get half of the puzzle. And then we have to solve the other half by looking at the clocks. This is six o'clock, so, so that means that E6. Right? E6, and then this is... 733 733 so so I had I had H33 so that means H7 E6 huh oh oh good here's another one okay so we got 245 45 was C so C2 and then there's one last one I don't know where he is. I don't know where he was, but he was he was around. Felt uncomfortable there. So we got we got C two, E uh, six, H seven. So the last one is F, yeah, which was twelve, which I th uh, I don't I didn't get the other number for that yet. All right, I need to get this last one. Okay, so this is one, 12, so one, so F1, uh, F1, C2, H, um, seven, and then E6. I did it. What'd I do? What the heck did I do? I heard him. I'm out. I'm out, man. Okay, what did that open? Aha! Okay. I guess it opened right here. I just... I noped out. <laughs> I was not about to die and lose all my progress, you know? Okay. Oh, he must have an arm missing. I just didn't even notice. Let's go give him his arm back. Hey, fella. Where? What? Is he in here now? Wait, where is he? Oh, wait, no, he's in the center room, isn't he? I forgot he got moved. Hey there. Need a hand? <laughs> I did it. I made the I made the pun. Good. All right, so that's the second checkpoint or maybe there's not a checkpoint. Ugh. I'm scared to find out. I haven't died yet, so I'm really worried about that. Okay, so what's the next task? Do I go do I go straight in? Do I go straight in and find out? I don't I don't know if I want to. Stay, let's, what was that? This door just closed. I think I shut it myself, so I think I just jump scared myself, sadly. Now, what's interesting is that that monster hasn't come out into the real world just yet. 
but I'm guessing that's gonna be happening soon. Cause right now I have like a safe area and like a Silent Hill-esque danger zone. And right now like nothing can get me in here, right? Oh, there's the Grim Reaper with wings. Don't think he needs to be able to fly. He already has the power of death, but you know, I guess it's just an ego move. And right, nothing new. So I'm gonna go into the mirror world and cross my fingers. Here goes. Boop! What's that? ALXF. Shit. Well, where does this go? Oh no, there's two books. B Q O R. Looks like it's backwards there. It looks like Cthulhu on the cover. Okay, so I gotta find some place to put these. I mean, this is this is where I remember books being. Looks like there's something written on the side that I probably need to access. I don't know, can I bring these out? Maybe I can just slam them down there for now. Just go collect them. Okay, I got another one here. KLGW. This is a nice little place to just collect everything. I collect books. Gotta listen for that dude. Here we go. This looks like uh, Dracula or something. It's like their classic literature. Um, I've been having trouble clicking on the mirror with the book in my possession. Not really sure what that's all about. So I got four books. Typically, there's been four different pieces. So, let's see. HPU3. And then it says something on the side, but I don't know what that is. I'm wondering if you put it into the computer. It's like HPU3. Invalid command. Okay. Uh, H-P-U-E. That's... <laughs> A-L-X-F. Book position. What was that? Okay. Made an odd sound. Well, it says book position. Hang on. Uh, oh. Crap. Mouse lock is one line of code, guys. KLGW. By the way, I have a shirt that says that now. It's available in my merch store. It's been out for a while. KLGW. I didn't make a video about it because I didn't want to. Okay, that's definitely different. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that was like... Is it Morse code? That'd be long, 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 right? Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to write this down though. It says book position. So it's like I've gotta put them somewhere, but like, it seems like there should be more books then, cause there's five, see there's a mirror here. I feel like that means that he's gonna, he's gonna come through at some point. Um. I don't see any books in the real world, though. Quote, real world. I think they're all in the mirror world, so I'm gonna go back in and look around, I guess. I'm kinda nervous about it. I think he's gonna get me. Okay. That doesn't open anymore. Uh, there's a lockbox here. Aha! One, two, three, four, five, six, and zero. That's new, that's a map. No books here. Okay. Mmm. This is odd. Uh, okay, so... Yep, I gotta go. Man, I have no idea. Like, you gotta put them in the... The bookshelf in a specific order, but it's like, all I've got are... 
Morse code, so it's like, maybe I have to translate it somehow. Okay, I found the other books thanks to the Facebook group, which I assume you're supposed to use in order to beat this. So we got um, It here, the Tim Curry version, uh, 8SD0, and then there's actually two other books that I just didn't find. So we got Exorcist over here, uh, 42MH, and then there's another book, this one, Frankenstein, YS5R. So I'm gonna put those in and just see what we get. Okay, so I looked up a Morse code translator and dot 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 dash is supposedly four. So that means that ALXF is four. So I gotta put that book where the four is. I'm gonna get rid of that equal sign. That's, that's messy and confusing with the dashes. Uh, so I think if I do this for the rest of the books, I'll have the placements for all the books. Okay, so I think I've got all of them. So I've got them numbered zero through six, and I think it's time to start placing them uh, where they rightfully belong. First up, we have KLGW, which if I'm not mistaken, is zero. So let's go ahead and see if we can put it in there at zero, and then I'm gonna dart back and get the rest of the books. Okay. So zero is up there, and that says five. That's interesting. I'm getting out of here first. I'm hoping that I don't get killed here because I've put in a lot of time. Okay, so number two is 8SD0. I had to write these down. I have a good memory, but not this good, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and put this one in. This one looks like it says one on the side. Yeah, so five, seven, one. So there's some sort of, I wonder if it'll open up this locked box. And then we'll need that code for something else. I didn't notice that there was a map back there. I don't know if they're related or not. Uh, number three is YS5R. So let's go ahead and put that in. You guys probably don't need to see me do all this. I'll just cut to when I've got the books all in there. All right, I got the last book. And it goes in this last spot. What is that? A laser pointer? Oh god, I gotta get out of here. Um, okay, so what do... What do I have this for? What do I use this for? Well, I can point at stuff. If there's a cat around, I can distract it. Good. Does this kill? Does this kill the monster? It's gotta have something to do with these numbers, right? Let's take a look at the numbers again. Okay, so we got... Five, seven, one, zero, negative nine, seven, and two. Ah. Like, the only thing I can think of is three seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back to me, please. Yeah. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna go back because I don't want to die. Um. I gotta write those numbers down. Five, seven, one, zero. Negative nine, seven, two. Okay. Um, well, let's look around. Okay. It's gotta be this map. Three seconds. Six Z, what the? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, those are, those are the numbers. Those asterisks, those are the numbers. Then we need to put in. Okay, go, 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 go. Those look like latitude, longitude? So we need to point at a specific part of the map? Okay. I'll try that. Okay, so using the numbers I just got, it's 57.10 comma negative 97.2. Which seem like coordinates I'm gonna have to look up, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna try this real quick. Uh... Plug it into Google Maps. Okay, so these coordinates that I just got point to this specific spot of Manitoba. Man Manitoba? I don't know how to pronounce it. I know how to pronounce Saskatchewan. Not this one, though. Um, so I guess we just point with our laser pointer to that specific part? That's kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Okay, Manitoba. Uh... 
Damn it. Come here. How do you... It's like right there? How? I mean, that's what I'm doing. It says three seconds. So maybe I got to point it there for three seconds. Like right there. Whoa! Whoa, that's not... That's not fair! I thought I did it! I thought I did it! You better not have put me all the way back at the beginning, sir! I really, really hope not. No. No, it's the same ones. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe... Is it... Oh, good. Okay. Okay. So it should be the same... The same spot. Oh! Oh! I did it! I did it! I miss mom smiling to you. I miss us. It lied. What? What? Hi! Hello! I'm on the other side of the... Maybe... Okay. Hello? You wanna listen to some music? It made layers of memories. But now it's over. These layers are shattered. These mirror layers. Okay? This is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be for a 48 hour game. What am I looking for? Do I go back into the mirror? I can't. I can't go back. Okay. This is the last part I haven't been. Been to? Uh, it's dark here. And that's it. A game by Revo Lab. That was really cool. That was a very impressive uh, game jam game. I don't know why when I first played it, I wasn't impressed. I think I just didn't catch on to the... The social component. Which was really cool. I don't know how that... I, I guess I just like jumped into the mirror world and I was like, oh, okay, so this is all there is to the game. I was also playing through a bunch of Game Jam games at the time, but that was really interesting. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I'm just a sucker for games that like mess around with this sort of like going back and forth in between your uh, desktop and the game, kind of like I'm Scared, a pixelated nightmare. In the uh, the updated version, I'm Scared 2016, uh, Pony Island did that a little bit, um, Undertale even did that, from what I remember. So, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. I, I enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, very cool for something made in tw uh, 48 hours, although it was updated a couple times, I think, so I think they made it a little bit better than maybe it was when it was first published. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I liked that a lot. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Um, I know that these, like, fourth wall, you know, creating files in your folder type of games aren't for everyone, but I think they're pretty neat, and it's something that the horror genre is doing that I don't see any other genre of games doing. There are a lot of, like, innovative games like this that are, that are doing stuff like that. And I like it a lot. It's like you, you have to work against the game, you know? It's like the game is kind of plotting against you a little bit. It's, it's a cool idea. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.